Well, we'll see if this is working. I sure as hell don't know. Um, it says I'm live. I have no idea if that is true. Someone tell me. Okay, I can put the link in now. Weirdness. But, <clears throat> there are the bells. I need that for audio purposes. And we should be good. Okay, I'll just assume this is working. That's good enough for me. Oh, I'm going to take a deep breath. It's hot and I'm tired. <laughs> and all I can find is a hammer. Hello. Hi. It's six o'clock and I'm here in my attic and it's Thursday. She's um, And none of you can see me because I am in the dark. Now I'm over here with a bit more light. Um. <coughs> So, I have actually quite a limited repertoire, but um, I mentioned earlier this week that I take requests. Someone asked for a song last week that I didn't know, so I learned it. And someone asked for a song this week that I did know. And that, thank you, everyone, um, <laughs> that made it really easy. Um, so, I'm going to tell you really quick about how I am uh, an international superstar by proxy. Um, many, many years ago, I was just a tiny, this would have been around 2012 or 2013, um, I received a message on Facebook from a rando uh, who I did not know. She was a young girl in Perth, Australia named Jamie Michaela and <clears throat> I have no idea how she, no, I do know how she found me. She found me because my friend Joe Black had toured through there and had mentioned me. He thanks me in one of his albums because I am an international rock star by proxy. Um, and Jamie asked me <clears throat> if it was all right if she could cover a song of mine. And if she could, what was the chord that I used? And my answer was overwhelming. Yes, oh my gosh, please cover my song, Random Person in Australia. That would be amazing. And the second answer is, I don't know. I don't know what chord I used. We figured out, I think it's A flat major. Um, anyway, a lot of people like this song. I played it a couple weeks ago. But you know what? I'm going to play it again. It's sort of like listening to your favorite album. And I'm still sitting down on the ground when I should be sitting down on a stool. But ceilings are low here. And like I said, it's really hot and I'm very tired. So if I pass out, well, that would be terrible now, wouldn't it? I really should have a contingency plan for that. It is a non-zero possibility. Anyway. This is a song about grown-up stuff. Walking out the door, la 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 da 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 la la da da la da 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 da. And I, I should be old enough by now. I should 
be getting used to it It barely hurts this time But I, I can't admit when I've been drinking All the things I've said without thinking The kind words that escape my lips Without a bit of censorship And I, I can be found broke aroused and acting While you'll resort to masturbating Lovely melodies about the way things used to be I find myself alone inside your bed But I'll still look for you all over town In alleys and in bookstores In dumpsters and in dive bars La 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 da 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 la 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 da da La da 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 Cause I, I can't admit when I've been drinking All the things I've said without thinking The kind words that escape my lips Without a bit of censorship And I, I can be found broke, rust and acting While you'll resort to masturbating Lovely melodies about the way things used to be Before me Before me Before me gets me through the years that gets me out of here yay songs about drinking and being irresponsible and did she say masturbating i think she did that song's not all right for children um so yes I'm actually not sure if I've ever heard the Jamie Michaela version of that song, but that was years and years and years ago. And I didn't know her very well then, and technically I guess I still don't because she's on the other side of the, like the big other side of the world. Um, but I've gotten to watch her grow up into being just this cabaret superstar with fringe awards and shows. She just had a show at... I honestly don't remember if it's Adelaide Fringe or if it was in Perth or what, but it was a Fringe Festival. It happens at the same time as the Asheville Fringe Festival, and her show was called Daddy, and it did amazingly well, and I just want to see it. I want to see uh, her do amazing stuff. So anyway, I'm going to stop gushing about other people, but uh, she's a rock star. You should look her up because it's really cool stuff. Um, and I hear she covers a song by a woman who lives in an attic during a pandemic. Um, anyway, uh, as we were talking, um, on a thread about what songs I should do, um, that song was also, uh, Mandy and, and, oh, I forget who else. Was it, was it Richard? Someone else? I'm sorry. Um, I don't, I have, everyone's memory is bad right now. We can't retain things. It's fine. Um. But there was another song that was requested from the same album. This album is from Once Upon a Time when I was in a little band called Miss Mousy and the Rigmarole, um, which is available on Bandcamp slash Tiny Wonder or tinywonder.bandcamp. I forget how they do it. Um, you can listen to it for free. Um, and if you want a physical copy, oh, God, I will just give you one. I will just give you several. Let's have a retail arrangement because I have so many left over and I do not want them anymore. Um, so yeah, if you want a coaster or like you need to get a table level, I have the album of 2012 for you. <sighs> Remember when we thought the world was going to end in 2012? <laughs> oh, how we laughed. Okay. This is a happy little song that I learned for that album from uh, 
the amazing Bill Irwin, who is one of my favorite performers ever. So uh, he didn't write it, but I saw him perform it, and that's all I wanted to do was be silly and sing about cities in California. Oh, you railway station. Oh, you Pullman train. I'm going here. For my destination Far beyond the western plain To see my home in Pasadena Home where the grass is greener Where honeybees hum melodies and orange trees and the breeze I'm gonna be a home sweet homer There I'll settle down beneath the palms In someone's arms in Pasadena town saw Bill Irwin do it, he comically ran out of breath, and I do not blame him. <sighs> Where's my water? Where is it? I only see alcohol. Where is it? Aha! <laughs> I was not going to substitute. <sighs> this is a nice little water bottle. It had kombucha in it. I bought it in Vancouver because I didn't have a water bottle, because I was a sucker. and uh, But I like this little cap, and now I will have it forever. I bought it at the All Vegan Goods grocery store. Hi, Tyler. I don't know if Tyler's watching, but he's who I stayed with and took me to the vegan grocery store. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> ah, we're doing all right. So... I'm going to bring things down a little bit. Ooh, there's all these dried cherry blossoms. Where did they come from? And I want to do a song uh, because, again, I am supposed to be in Japan right now, and I am not. So um, I wrote this song um, a couple years ago. I went uh, on the same trip, actually, the trip that I went to study uh, Kurama Ningyo that I talked about last week. I took a pilgrimage on my second day. I landed in Tokyo. I was there for half a day. The next day I got on a train and I went all the way up to the prefecture of Iwate to see the Kaze no Demwa, which is a real thing. It's a telephone booth that was built to contact the dead and the disappeared. Um, it was built after the tsunami, uh, just destroyed the town it, that it was in, uh, the town that the, the man's uh, house is in, Otsuchi, and he built this phone booth in his garden. Hold on. I brought a stool. He built this, uh, this telephone booth in his garden and he could use it to make calls 
to his loved ones who disappeared and died in the tsunami. Um, people found out about it and started making pilgrimages themselves. And it's this, it's an incredible place. And uh, I went there and I uh, went and I, I made my phone call. It was, it was a lot. Um, and afterwards I was wandering around the, uh, the, the garden grounds and this woman came up to me and asked me uh, who I was, who this blue haired American woman was. And I said, hello. And, and I explained to her I was there to study uh, puppetry and, and I wanted to see this. She said, oh, and, and we talked a little about, about it. And I said, um, uh, uh, it is so sad, but also beautiful. And that is, uh, and I wrote this song about it. This song is in my show, Let's Go Cry with Strangers. This box is the original box, uh, which is now in storage in my attic. The actual box that I now use in the show is downstairs. It's too big to bring up in the attic, and it's not going to go into the attic because I hope to still do the show um, before I leave for Europe. Um, but since we're showing off weird things in my house, um, this little origami box, here, I'll hold it up to the light. This is a good spot. Um, it's just a little paper box, but the woman gave it to me when I was there and it was full of candies and it's one of my, just my little treasured, treasured items. So I brought it up here. Um, yeah, I'll do booze after that. Ambiance, 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 ambiance. There, that'll just have to work. train tracks but they're all gone now it's the glimmering silence of a shaking ground and the lights of little town drifting into the starry sky for the last time and I'm not the sword to believe in gods but in this moment i'd be willing to be proven wrong you made the strongest argument for our past lives that i have ever heard and the seas of iwata were the calmest i've seen my mind dispersed like fading northern lights there is a phone booth on a hill there is a phone booth on a hill off the coast wipes from disaster though the waters are now still and they say if you use it, you can call to your loved ones Who have slipped through that veil and passed away And now I'm in this garden and I barely speak the language And this woman is asking me how I am today And I can only tell her this is so sad But all so beautiful how did I get here? How did I end up following this thread pulled as it unravels in my hands? 
tangled heartstrings to foreign lands, pieces of home can't collect it. We're just pins in each other's mouth. You look like home disconnected. We put our pins in each other's mouths. Slow down, darling. We've got all of our lives. Take a breath now, baby. Things are going to be fine. Slow down, Draha. We've got all of our lives. Take a breath now, baby. Things are going to be fine. This is so sad, but also beautiful. とても悲しいんですが、また美しい Yay! Queen of sad songs. Ah,、oh, that goes back downstairs. This goes into storage. Someone is cooking ramps. If you're from the south, then you know what that means. It means that everything reeks of like oniony garlic. It's not a segue I wanted to make. It's a segue that happened. Alcohol. Since we were talking about my trip to Japan, I was going to switch it up and bring out something else that wasn't Japanese, but、um, Japan. The end.、Uh, there is a sentence that I learned fairly early in learning Japanese, which is "Watashi no okiniri no kura kura mono wa yuzu des,"、uh, which is, without the stumbling, "My favorite fruit is yuzu." It's true. I love yuzu so much. If you don't know what yuzu is, get with the program. It's starting to pick up in the states, and boy, howdy, am I excited!、Uh, yuzu is a citrus. It is kind of like a, it is a lemon-ish thing, but it's much more floral and wonderful. Anyway, I have a small policy with myself that is, if it says yuzu and I am in Japan, I buy it. I've started. I've I've sort of had to step back on that because sometimes there are some very expensive yuzu things that are not very useful.、Um, but this alcohol、uh, has yuzu on it, and it says fun funwari yuzu.、Uh, two kanji I can't read, or I can read one of them, but I don't know how to pronounce it.、Um, but yeah, it's yuzu. So I think it's basically like yuzu vodka.、Um, That is, that's actually pretty good. Oh, it's only sixteen percent. That might be why. This is a good like mix. It was. I'm actually what she's taking a second sip. Yeah. Oh, it's still alcohol. But I did take a second sip because I freaking love yuzu. Yuzu wa daisuke des,、uh, which is I love yuzu. It's real good. It's real good. Oh, it's paper time! It's paper time. Okay. You might not know this, but I'm a puppeteer. So, do you have your sheet of paper? Is it one you accidentally wrote notes on, like, <laughs> like? <laughs> Uh, like spiritual weapon, zone of truth, lesser restoration. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm playing D and D in my free time. Also, I need to write to Sosna. <laughs> so, which I did last night. Hooray to do list.、Um, and Sosna's not watching now, but he will be tomorrow. Ah hi.、Um, okay.、Uh, anyway, you take your paper. We're gonna turn it into a square, which you should know how to do by now. You fold down the corner. Along its edge, this is a puppet project for lonely people, <laughs> or for people with children. So now we have, we know how to make the square. So we're gonna fold off 
this last tab, we're going to fold it down along the line so that we can, I'm going to fold it up here. Um, so you can crease it really hard. You can lick along it. Um, huh, I'm basically just tearing off the list of cleric spells. It really is my favorite thing to play in Dungeons and Dragons. I love being a cleric. I just do. I, th I think, um, as I told a friend, I was just like, well, I mean, I'm not very good at playing a bard because I play one every day of my life. So instead, I'm a cleric. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Does she remember? So we have that fold that we already made. Now we're going to make a fold opposite it like an X. Remember to write to Sosna because the paper is still telling me it says write to Sosna. Now, open it up. And now we're going to do the same thing only uh, lengthwise. So we're going to make uh, like a cross over that X. And then we're going to do it again. So we're basically folding so that we have four separate lines that all cross in the middle. Okay, um, so yes, now I have all these lines. Now I'm going to fold the edge corners in like this. So and I'm going to do that for every side. If you went to grade school anywhere from 1980 to 1995, I'm guessing. You know how to make these. It's in your blood, especially, yeah, especially if you went to my school. Haha, <laughs> did I do this right? No idea. I have no idea. What a, yeah, I must, I must be. <laughs> how does it work? Hold on, I'm going to cheat. what I'm doing. Don't you, don't you doubt me? I can hear your doubt all the way here. So we have our, our, our bits of paper and we're going to, uh, ignore that. We're going to go to the other side. So the flat side with no lines, and we're going to fold those corners back over. Remember when I was just talking about how it's in your blood and you know it and trust the force. That was a lie. Gosh, it's hot. That's it. Every paper project from now on is going to be boats. I'm going to make just, maybe it's true. It'll just be an army of boats. So now you fold it on this side. Now we're going to, uh, with this side, with the, with the folded bits over, we're going to fold that shut. So now you'll have two little, two little squares. And we're going to pinch up it so you can see it sort of opens on one side. And we're going to pinch and we're going to push them together and sort of open the petals on the other side. I don't want to call it what we called it in school because that gives away the fun. Then you have this. Do you guys remember this? You guys remember this little guy? He used to write fortunes on the inside and, and a bunch of like weird dirty tricks. Um, so what I do with these though, is I then take glue and I glue along the inside of the top one and the bottom one and I glue them together. And now I have a little, a little adorable puppet. And then with a kid or an adult, you can draw happy little faces on it. Oh, this one's not going to be a happy face. This is going to be a tormented face. Oh, it's terrible. Oh my goodness, why? Why does it look like this? But it looks like this anyway. Anyway, you've made a little puppet. Now, if you've got time and space and scissors, you can, uh, oh, where's my other one? I just took it apart to check. 
You can make them more elaborate. You can give them little haircuts like I did for this one, which I almost broke apart in my panic. Oh, almost. By almost, I mean I did. I broke him apart. Nope, nope. He's done. We have this guy instead. Oh! Highlander. There can only be one. So yes, I'm available for birthday. No, I'm not available for birthdays. We're in quarantine. Last little bit, because I believe we're close to time. Oh, we're at time. You know what's coming. That paper project ran long. I fixed Zelenichka yesterday. Her strap broke. Now her strap is a piece of an old shirt. So, I think next week is the week that I will finally get my stuff together and make uh, a proper sing-along file of this. Sing-alongs are the best, by the way. Uh, I currently am involved in a little sing-along Marco Polo uh, with some friends, and it totally made my night. So, yesterday, when it started. Anyway. <laughs> Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 life is but a is but a dream Life is but a dream Life is but a row, row, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, I'll see you next week. Take care out there, stay safe, drink some water, write a postcard to someone. I've been getting them and they're blowing my mind, so do it. Okay. Bye-bye. Dobry večer. Dobro noce. Hezky sní. Oyasumi nasai.